Hi, I just wanted to come really quickly and show you guys how I protect my curls while I work out. Um, I've tried a few different methods and I found that this is just the most effective way for me. Um, just a little bit of background, I just woke up because normally I work out in the mornings, it's just easier for me. So when I wake up, my hair is either like this or it's in my um, hooded band or it's in some sort of wrapping shenanigan. Um, so, uh, I want to be able to preserve my curls when I work out because I used to just throw it up in a bun or do a pineapple, um, and it would kind of get frizzy from all the bouncing around and sweat, you know, when you work out. And then when I, if I were to keep it in this, it just feels uncomfortable to me. So I just take off whatever the wrap is that I have. And normally my hair is in a nice, like, molded type thing. And then I just take a regular square bandana, real thin one. You can see this is kind of sheer. And then I take a big type of scrunchie. And all I do is um, I don't move my hair around a lot. I just take it to the back and create a low ponytail or a low bun like that. So... This all stays the same. I don't move it out of the way or not. I don't move it around a lot. Then I make a triangle and put it on like a regular headband. Or excuse me, like bandana. A lot of times I'll put the, um, the bun a little bit higher and then tuck the flap into the back here. And then for me, I like to pull my ears out. Hey guys, I'm back after my workout. Today I just did a quick um, 30 minute cardio session. Um, I followed the Turbo Fire program. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> just did my quick uh, 30 minute cardio session. There were some plyometrics, some jumping, some booty shaking. There were some burpees, you know, calisthenics, so lots of movement. So you can see, I haven't touched my head since. You can see it moved back just a little bit. Um, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show you guys how my hair looks after I work out. Um, but I will say that normally I take a shower after I work out. And when I shower, I'll just put my shower cap on right over everything, get in the shower, wash up. And then when I get out is when I remove everything. But I just wanted to show you guys what I normally do um yeah so I'll just peel it off like this and as you can see my curls are not disturbed Whoop! there goes one coming out and then I just take it out of the scrunchie and then I shake my hair shake it out shake 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 it out shake shake it out and then I would like Put some sort of styling, like maybe just a little bit of conditioner just to spruce up some pieces like this. But, that's that y'all. Curls are intact. No issues here. Hey guys, I just want to come show you the final results after I take my hair down, um, get in the shower, um, and all of that. So, as you can see, the crease that I kind of had from when I put my hair back in a bun or a low ponytail, I don't have it anymore because I just shook it out, put some moisturizer, and then scrunched out my hair, and that was it. So, if you're worried about having a crease or some sort of demarcation from putting your hair up in a ponytail before you wrap it, at least in my hair, it, go, it comes out. So, um, I will say though, I use two different types of scrunchies. This one, like this cloth type one, is gonna keep your hair more secure, it's not gonna move. But when you have this type of scrunchie, like with a satiny polyester type finish, um, it's not gonna keep your hair secure and this will create less of a, of a demarcation. And then of course, if you use one of these things, you're gonna have an, an even bigger crease. So just be mindful of which kind of um, scrunchie you use. But again, it just you know comes out when it comes to my hair. So that's the final product, guys. Thanks for watching, bye.